Step one, find a good spot to jack up your bike. This looks precarious, but it was the best spot. If I wiggle it, it's not going anywhere. Make sure your jack is rated for more than the weight of your bike. Step two, saddlebags. Our project here is to get the rear wheel off. Saddlebags are definitely in the way, so they're going to be the first to go. But when we're done with the saddlebags, you know what else is in the way? See that bolt that holds the wheel on? What's it behind? The pipe. Is it a pipe? It's two pipes. They gotta come off to be able to start. The tools we'll be using today are probably a bunch of these ones. Maybe some wrenches. Make sure you got a good set. If you're going to be doing anything like this, make sure you got a good set. And also this is a tool roll that's on the bike. The reason I pull that out. My best set of Allen keys. You can tell which ones I used. And then our job today. Front brakes. I might not do those right away. They're still alright. Not pitting or anything. Rear brake is a thing. That's taped up, but I'll show you later. Special note here, when you take the bags off, you want to put your bolts back in just while you're doing the job. Hand tight's okay, as long as it's into the fender, because if you take the bolts off on both sides, the fender will fall. So keep it up. Fenders are off. Now the next bit is going to be the pipes. So we're going to start head bolts both sides and then underneath you've got these two guys need to come out and you've also got this little clamp here which attaches one pipe to the other one that needs to get loosened so one pipe can come out of the other one and I believe oh yeah this one right here as well holding the back of that one in Probably gonna scrub the pipes this time. So this uh, is fairly easy to break loose. This one, not so much. Here's a little trick. Take a wrench, give yourself some extra leverage. So this bit looks like a pipe, is not a pipe. It is a heat shield. So it's got a little clamp here, you get a break loose. This one there, and one there, and then same for the other side, here, and, right, and there. So take off the heat shields first. So this bolt was a pain because getting the tool in was hitting the other pipe. So I took the other pipe out, it is gone now, and now we're on to the next one. Hey, voila. Both the pipes are off. Look what a clean looking bike it is without any exhaust. Do not turn the bike on like this. Holy crap. But this is also a great chance to clean where you can never have cleaned before. Coming back to the wheel, what we're gonna have to do is get rid of a few things. We've got this nut here, which is bolted to the frame. You've got your cotter pin and your locking nut. I'm gonna have to take the brake line off. And I'm not sure, I don't think that can stay there either. No, nope, that can stay there. So you take the brake line off, that pin out, and then you got this bolt here. You wanna take your shield, your chain guard off. One, two, and then once this comes through the axle, uh, you're pretty much released. Just be very careful about your chain, because you do not want to bend or stretch it in any way, so be very delicate when you're taking this out. And lastly, you want to take this bolt out here, so that you can disconnect this, uh, I believe it's a sensor, something like that. Maybe that's how you can tell how it turns the brake light on, I don't know. But you definitely got to pull this guy out here, it's going to fall out. This is just a plug, unplug it, 
And that's the last piece. Now that it's out, I want to point out that it does have a little line in there. When you're putting it in again, you want to sort of rotate it around until it goes all the way in. That's the seal, the rubber gasket there. Make sure it goes all the way in. Cotter pin out. Loose stuff. Brake line. Just take that nut all the way off. And this should just pull. Yeah, it's hard to do with one hand. But that'll just pull it. Once it's out, save your spring. I even keep it in the same orientation that it was before. So we got that. Brake nut, brake spring, caught a pin. What's left? Lock. I leave this set because this is the tension on your chain. So you can take this bolt off, you can pull the axle bolt through and keep your chain adjustment. Something to keep aware of. What notch are we at, right? It's the same on both sides. My chain's perfect. I don't want to touch that, so I'm leaving this locked. I'm not touching that at all. I'm just pulling this bolt off so that I can get this guy through the wheel. So here we have 22 mil bolt, but this is not a very strong socket. And this particular set that I have doesn't have a 22 for the bigger socket. So you got a couple of options. This is the one I pick. This is the bar that comes with the lift. And I am just gonna take it and put it over this guy. Now you've got not only enough torque to break it, but enough to put it back. Technically the way you should do this is by using an actual torque wrench so that you can measure it and set the torque when you put it back on to spec. But I don't have a torque wrench, so I'm going to be very mindful of the amount of force it takes to undo it and make sure to apply an equal amount of force when I put it back. Sounds risky, done it before, then I put 4,000 kilometers on it, I think uh, it works. So, we've got our axle nut off, that moves freely, brake line disconnected, bolt, and is it this bolt? So the frame is not connected, so the wheel's gonna come out that way because of that. But then on this side, taking off the chain guard, and this bolt is not actually connected to anything. Um, it is a 19 mil, hang on. If you want something to sort of grab it with, but that's not gonna go anywhere because it's not connected to the bolt on the other side. So, just get her started, gently, tap her out, we got some space here, and maybe use like a strong flathead or something like that to get her started. Once it's good, you just pull it right out. I should mention, wheels are heavy, and this is floating off the ground, right? So I'm going to take an old helmet. Jam it right there, and then secure it with my knee, and when this bolt comes out, the wheel's going to fall, it'll fall gently, roll down the helmet onto the ground. That's a theory. Just noticed a saving grace. Bolt's out, wheel's still in. Why? You got that little nut there that you got to pull out, so you know exactly when the wheel's going to drop. Hung the chain on the side, the wheel is off, the brake is out. On well, that, my friends, is how you remove a wheel on a Vulcan Classic. However, this is half of the new brake, and that's the old brake. This is the tread, and that's the brake itself, so that's what you wear down. I have plenty of tread. My squeaking is something else. Also, you can see there's this little guy here, fits right there. This little guy here does not, even if the brake was bad, I got the wrong brake. Whoops. Time to put it all back together. I'm gonna maybe spritz some brake cleaner in there.
especially in here, all that black is just brake dust. So I'm thinking the squeaking I was hearing might just be because it's real dirty. So I'm gonna try and clean that out. But holy crap, did I earn that. Cheers.